story. Look at this bullshit. After speaking with the victim, Thomas Daly, who is alive and well tonight. An attempted robbery at gunpoint caught on home surveillance camera. I went on my knees and he kept asking uh, if I had any phone, money, or personal items, and I emptied out my pockets and showed him I didn't have anything. If being held at gunpoint wasn't emotionally painful enough, the masked gunman kicks Thomas in the groin. It definitely felt really scary. I was like, well, this guy could definitely be like, this is it, you know? And then I, my family members would wake up and find me outside. I definitely, that was the first thought I definitely thought, but it was definitely scary to feel, have a gun in my face and someone I did not know at all. It's a crime Thomas and his family never expected to happen in their quiet south side neighborhood. Our morning could have gone completely differently. It really could have. Somebody could have died. And, you know, as a, as a parent, you're here to protect your children. And I couldn't have done that. Their family is recovering tonight, but they warned this could happen to anyone. However, they are more so grateful than aside from occasional soreness. So that's fucked up. Right outside of his own home. He's robbed right outside of his own home and then kicked in the fucking nuts. Fucking right in the dick. And they said it's occasional soreness, so hopefully that is it. But the guy goes to rob, dude. He works at the coffee stand or some shit, so it's probably somebody that thought he had some money. He works at the coffee stand, right? You've been working all day. Shouldn't you have some damn money? And then look at the fucking crime. The crime is out of goddamn control. Is the public police going to do a goddamn thing about it? Going to ask a few questions? They're going to canvass the neighborhood? You think they're going to catch that guy? The only way they're going to get justice is if they get some private investigator to go after the guy and then maybe get a lawyer to sue the damn system in order to... But uh, it, they caught it on camera. That's good evidence. The system should, should be happy. They, you know, they caught a criminal. They caught a criminal in the act of committing a crime. You got all the evidence right there on video. And let's assume, you know, you could assume either way. There's only so many options, but let's assume that it was a total random crime. If it's a total random crime, you can look at the make and the build and this and that. But my guess is that it's not a random crime. It's somebody within the community, somebody within walking distance. They didn't drive all the way to his house to rob him, you know, right at his front door. And this is Pueblo. Pueblo, they hate. <clears throat> In Pueblo, they absolutely hate their sunflowers. They cannot, they hate their sunflowers. They hate ranked choice voting. They hate it. But... They love, they adore their criminals, white, brown, but not black. There's only white and brown people that live in Pueblo, 100,000 a city, well, third biggest city in Colorado. 2%, 2% of the demographic is black, so this is white on brown and brown on white and white on white and brown on brown and, you know, BLT on, on Rye. It's a BLT on Rye. So it's the brown and the white people. The brown and the white people need to get their shit together because you got goddamn criminals going around. Rob, what the fuck? He also pointed a gun right at the motherfucker's head. And then when he said he had nothing to rob, he was pissed because it was like, shit. You know, I chanced doing all this and you're going to have no damn money. So he's basically saying you're a chump for not having money, but... You're the one going around robbing people. You're the fucking chump. Why don't you go get a fucking job, piece of shit? That a criminal prevents working class people. Why would you go get a job for eight hours a day just to allow a piece of shit like that to ramsack your goddamn place? That's no good. To have a civilized society, we, we gotta stop the crime. It's for business, it's for citizens, it's for... You could be for law and order and you could be for, you know, having rights and justice. In fact, you have to be for law and order if you're for justice. So that's felony menacing. Somebody comes, points a gun. That's a, a mock execution, right? Give me your money. And then he pointed at his head. Should I, should I shoot him? Nah. 
Nah, I'm not going to shoot him. What if he did have money? What if he got shot then? Then he kicked him in the fucking dick. You heard it. And you see him fucking rolling around. He says occasional soreness. Hopefully he's telling the truth. And then in the corner you saw somebody come out. It looked like with the gun. Should have shot. You have a right to defend your loved ones. In Colorado, Article 2, Section 13 is a right to bear arms in defense of property, home, and person. You have a right to defend yourself and other people. So that person totally would have been justified if they would have shot, if they would have pulled a Patrick Gallagher. If they would have pulled a Patrick Gallagher, they would have been justified. <sighs> Fucking shit. <laughs> Felony menacing, right? The intent to cause fear with a deadly weapon. You got any money? No? Well, that pisses me off. You know what pisses me off? That you're a, your mama didn't raise you right. That's, that's what pisses me off. That you're a fucking low-life degenerate motherfucker. You can't what? Put some fries down in some grease? You can't go get a goddamn job? You gotta steal my sweat? My blood, sweat, toil, and tears? That's all a thief does. Steals your blood, sweat, toil, and tears. Stealing all my labor. Fucking shit. Hopefully we get some justice in this case. Hopefully somebody says, yeah. Oh yeah, that's Jojo Beans. That's old Jojo Beans. Stop committing crimes, Colorado. Stop fucking hurting each other, you fucking assholes.